Hey everyone, it's Patty from PS Paper Crafts. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I wanted to show you how to make this really cute box. It's actually the box is something you can purchase and you can use gold or turn it inside out and use the white. It's called the mini pizza box and we made um, a band, I think they call it a belly band, to go around it. But the real cool thing is that I embossed this. I was at the on stage, which is... Um, the uh, Stampin' Up! convention and there was a, a day of stamping beforehand and somebody had this on display with a different embossing folder and I hope I'm not blinding you. Um, so I thought that was cute. You can do anything with this. You can put, you know, cookies, candy, a gift card, you know, put a little tissue paper in, put a gift card in there, um, jewelry. You can, you know, anything little and I think it's really pretty and you could use any embossing folder. And then I used the Perfectly Plaid. There's a little jingle bell on it. And then from your house, from our house to yours. So let's get started. Um, this is how they come, the pizza boxes. And I hope I'm not blinding you here. And you get, um, how many of them? You get eight of them. And they come with the gold on one side. And you can do this side. And it's a little waxy. Um, and I believe you could buy them in white anyway. So... No, no fear with that. So what we're going to do first is our embossing. So let me get the big shot out. And then I'm using this um, tin tile dynamic impressions embossing folder. Now these are 3D embossing folders and you need that plate. But this is an older one so um, they, they kind of revamped all their embossing folders. And you're going to have to run this through twice. So what I did was I tried to figure out um, you know how to fit it so that I could get the most um, covered in each one so I'm gonna go just right up to the edge here and get the whole thing in I don't want to go too far up here um, I don't like having that edge there and we'll just run it through so I'm gonna just put one plate now again if you had the newer embossing folder it would say 3d on it and um, you would use the new blue plate. I just wanna make sure I have this right on the edge here. And the blue plate is the embossing plate and that's made for the 3D embossing folders. So I'm gonna just put this down and run it through. And you only have to really run it through once. It really does a good indentation. Okay, and then I'm going to run it through again on the other side. And you just kind of have to feel it out, you know, play with it. It's a little bit off here, but I think I can cover that up with my next round. So I'm going to go right up here, and I'm trying to line it up at the bottom here. I'm going to go a little bit over, so I redo that one part. And that looks good. Isn't that pretty though? I love this one. It reminds me of the ceilings. Some of the old buildings in New York have these kind of ceilings and I think it's a look now. Um, let me get my fingers out of there. <laughs> and we'll go through. Let me just make sure I'm all lined up here. And we'll go through again. I'm trying to do this slow so I don't shake the camera too much. gonna pop there we go okay so let's get rid of this and the box is really easy to make so there you go and you'll have your folds so you really just let me put this aside and we can just fold it up and I don't think it matters if if everything matches on this side because you're not going to really see it but that looks good I think so we're just going to fold it all up. It has the little places for the pieces to fit in. And you can use your bone folder if you want. I'm not going to do that. It's got the little tab there. So just fold it. And maybe before you emboss it, if you're not familiar, maybe you want to fold one of them up just to get a feel for how everything folds together. Okay. And then these go in. 
And it's just like making a pizza box. If you ever were in a pizza place, some of them make them so quickly. It's amazing. My daughter worked in a pizza place for a while, and my son. So I'm just going to fit these in and fold this over. And see, they fit in through there. And then we'll close this one up. I'm hoping you could see it. I'm trying to stay on camera, but I need my body. <laughs> All right. And just close it up. So there you have it. And now let's make the belly band. So what I did was I took a piece for this one. I used cherry cobbler. I'm going to use um, shaded spruce on this one. So I'll just do the reverse colors. And all I did, it's not going to fit around. This is um, the eight and a half side and it's two inches. You could go all the way around and cut the 11 side of it. But I'm going to have this oval hook the two pieces together. So I'm just going to kind of bend it, get it to the right place, and then I'll leave that aside and let's do our stamping. I stamped the two from our house. I have these trees. I don't think I'm going to use them. But I have uh, from our house to yours and I did that in cherry cobbler. You could do it in the shaded spruce, whichever color you want. But I love this paper. I'm using the wrapped in plaid designer series paper because it has the gold in it. And I wanted to pick up the gold from um, the box itself. And then I cut this oval with the layering ovals. And then I cut this one out of the wrapped in plaid with the scalloped layering ovals. And these come together. This is, you have squares, ovals, and circles. And these I use all the time. They're one of my favorite things. And then I used the uh, Wrapped in Plaid Designer Series paper, so that's what this piece is. And I'm going to punch a tree with the tree punch. I'm going to try this, and I played with a lot, that's why I had these out. I like to play and see what colors I like best. So I'm just going to punch it out. You could use the back, you could use the front. I love this paper, it has some great plaids, and I really love plaids. And then I did some of the shaded spruce um, just punched out a couple of trees with that so I'm just using some scrap paper that I have and I'll do this end I don't know what this was for I was making something I always have scraps lying around and you use those scraps so let's see what we like we'll put this on here I just like to lay it out first and we just put it together. It's pretty easy to put together. I think you can make these and um, have them on a Christmas table as a little um, gift for everyone or put it under the tree or stocking stuffer, that kind of thing. So I think this will be okay. Let's just put it up here and see what it looks like. And then we'll glue everything down. So I have the red poking out from behind and then I have these up there, so let's go with it. So all I did was um, use my liquid glue and I did my trees. I wanted to make sure that I didn't cover up my sentiment. So I did the one tree first and kind of went right up against it. And then my other green tree and I just put a little bit of glue on. And you don't want it to stick behind it. Well, I guess it wouldn't matter because it's going to go right on the band. And then for this tree, I put it up with dimensionals. So I put one up here. And you could use those little dimensionals if you want, but I think these are good. Take off the backs. I can't believe how quick Christmas is going to come. Thanksgiving is so late, all of a sudden it's going to be Christmas before you know it. Okay, and then what I did was I put a little bit of glue, and you have to wait. You could use the tear and tape on this as well. I just put a little bit of glue on each end. And the thing with this is you kind of have to hold it and wait. I probably should have done the tear and tape. 
I meant to bring that out. I have that in the other room for my class. But this gives you the chance to um, get it all in place. Ooh, I didn't do it on this. Oh, boop, boop, boop. I should have put it on here first. I'm glad I didn't put the tear in tape, see? I caught myself. Okay, so now we'll put a little bit more glue on here. And then I'll just hold it in place for a couple of seconds. I was wondering why the white wasn't really covering top to bottom as much. So let's get that straight. Isn't that cute? And this is from the um, Itty Bitty Christmas, the sentiment. I'll tell you, if you don't have that, that has the best sentiments. And they're good sizes to squeeze into small spaces. And it has seasons, greetings, and I'll, I'll put it on my, um, on my blog because I don't have it. I have it in the other room. But it has all kinds of um, Christmas blessings, seasons, greetings, from our house to yours. It's really cute. So the other thing I'm going to do, let me just hold this. Hold it down here. Is I'm going to put these jingle bells, and these are so cute. And actually, I'm going to take this off because I think pulling it, the box is kind of trying to pop open and let it dry off. Okay, that should work. So we can do red, green, or gold. And I think on this one, I'm going to do the gold. And what I did was I just took a piece of the um, linen thread. And it's very easy to thread through. At first I thought, oh my goodness, am I going to have to thread a needle here? But it has this nice big hole there. And I just tied it into a knot, a single knot, and then cut it off and tie your bow. And then I'll adhere it with a glue dot. Very easy, but I think it really adds a, a little bit something extra. It's cute. Okay, that didn't work. Let's try this again. I love the baker's twine. That's one of my favorite things. It's very simple, but I think it is pretty. And you could even do two pieces if you want. I do that a lot just to give it a little bit more thickness to it. Okay, enough. Enough, enough. You could get carried away. And I'll just cut off the bottoms. And I'm going to put this on with a glue dot. Got to love the glue dots. And I just take it off this, kind of put it in a ball, and stick it on the back of here. And then I'm going to put it right on this Christmas tree, right on the top. Cute, right? Let's put these away. And you want to make sure with the belly band that you don't make it too tight so that you can't get it around the box. So when you're, you're fitting it around, just make sure it's not like so tight. So aren't they cute? I really love them. They jingle a little bit and um, I think they'd be fun to make. And you can make eight of them in the pack. So um, you can make eight of these and then get another pack if you want more. Anyway, thanks for joining me. I appreciate your time, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye.